Australian Labradoodles. Yeah. But he's the, the, the first one. To he come. was the first one that we brought over 11 years ago. Um, so one we're is from 11 California and, and he worked at UCLA. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be 11. Nice. And Boy, that's, Solomon that's Walter old Doodle. <laughs> Solly Wally Doodle. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Solly. Sit down. So may I ask, Aww. how come you haven't gotten into breeding them? The, well, the true Australian Labradoodle breeders send them over neutered because she protects what she has because Good people trainer. are breeding labs and poodles and calling them Labradoodles. So and that's what this one was. And people are asking a lot of money, but it's not a true Labradoodle. No. A true Labradoodle is totally non shedding and calm. Okay. And so that's what these guys are. Oh, okay. totally See, I didn't know that. And, and I know people that people buy things and don't know what they're getting. Well, yeah, this fellow he bought, I think he paid close to. Oh, they're a few oh, thousand dollars. At least that. I, know, I paid about twelve hundred, and he got it in California, and it was called a Labradoodle. The dog was just all over the place. Oh, I actually called somebody over here because I saw an ad in the paper for Labradoodle. Yeah. I said, "Oh, what generation?" So I bred my lab and the poodle. Uh, I said, "Oh, that's not really. A, that's why the breeder gets upset." Yes. It, oh, well. Anyway, so originally a vet in Australia's wife was going blind, and she had allergies, so they started breeding them there. To do this, and then they realized how good they were for you know people, wheelchair companions, yes. and seeing eye dogs. Yes. And uh, so they're very calm. Wow. And yeah, so he worked many years. Yeah. Genuine question now if you're breeding a poodle and a lab, how do you come up with a new breed rather than just a mongrel? Well, we call those mutts, those okay. aren't labradoodles. We okay, call that mutts. A labradoodle takes several, several generations of careful breeding. Of to, to get a non-shedding dog, sure. yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, you, that's why people have to. It's like buyer beware, do your research. Exactly. Because you're not really getting what, what a labradoodle should be. Yeah, and they've obviously done a good job for him him to be 11 years old and not having he's any great. health issues. No, he's. I, he's I, a lot I, of bred I dogs. I come in the mountains. He runs. He wow. plays. He, oh. He's just. Yeah, but he's, he's just so mellow. Yeah. Yes. But, and they provide dogs and. You know, are the governing body for right. testing them? So, are you a nurse? Then? No, my husband is no. a doctor. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. no, I was just a mom, and my kids are. This is Casey. The letter K, the letter C for Kelowna, Canada. Okay. He's almost 11, and this is Solomon Walter Doodle, Solly Wally Doodle all the day, because he's kind of silly. <laughs> what part of Australia is your breeder in? Ah, uh, she was. <laughs> she's from outside <laughs> Melbourne. Oh yeah. 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 But there are good Australian Labradoodle breeders yeah. around. Mm -hmm. You just have to do your research. Right. You know, to make sure you're not getting an F1 and expecting a non-shedding dog. Mm -hmm. Right, Sally? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun, isn't it? Oh, They're both fun. Dogs. We yeah. have a cat. I said to Jill last night when I'm trying to get the cat to come, right? Come on, come on. <laughs> I need a dog. <laughs> yeah. I love having a dog. Yeah. Fun. fun to walk with and ride my bike a lot. He loved riding with me. Yeah, yeah. But it's sad when they go, and that's what happens. That's, you when know, away, what is like, it? I say, why does a cockatiel live 80 years? Yeah, no kidding. Although I have a girlfriend <laughs> whose husband taught the cockatiel to bark. So. <laughs> so it's like a dog. Yeah, but does it run when you ride your bike? <laughs> no. Do they like the water? Oh, lo I'm a bit lab there. and poodle, yeah. they're webbed yeah. feet. Love the water. I had a he, poodle when I was a kid he and just dive off our wharf. Oh, love the water so much. We call him the lifeguard because between we live on the water, our dock and the other dock, they have a lot of our neighbors have a lot of kids. Right. And he runs. The minute somebody jumps in the water, if their head doesn't come up, he's he's oh, in oh, after really? them. Like he get he's he's very like yeah, just nervous alert, watching all the time. All, you know, yeah, all the time. He's very the lifeguard, aware. the neighborhood yeah. lifeguard. <laughs> Yeah, oh, he's gone enough for quite a few people. Wow. There was actually a Labradoodle back east who, I mean, there was a story that, that from the same breeder, the woman had three kids, 
two boys and a little girl, and she'd let them swim in the pool. Mm -hmm. And the two boys were old enough and good enough to go into the deep end. The little girl was supposed to hang out in the shallow end. And the, and the dog used to lay there and watch them. And one day the mother decided the little girl was good enough and she could go to the deep end. Every time she got to the deep end, the dog jumped in the water and kept pulling her back <laughs> to the shallow end. <laughs> Too funny, because right? he was so protective yeah. of her and knew that she wasn't allowed. She wasn't supposed to be out there. Isn't that something? Yeah. Oh, they're no, so that's smart, how they're so, yeah. 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 Well, enjoy your walk.